Right, another one for Karabarek. This time we are Diamond Sword. We are on the... For, for the Diamond Sword on the right hill. All the way over here. Then we go this corner. Nicely recognized by that pile of rocks there. This corner, we line up. Again, if you think this is very exposed, yes it is, but you still have the scrambler pack and really it's, well, it's all right. So there you go. Lining up, zoom out. Always do that, otherwise it'll ruin it. Have the flags down there. Again, this is on Rome, so normally you don't have that little indicator there. So there's the flag. Right, so we go up. Off the flag. Now you will see the um, the crosshair. Now to the bottom of the crosshair you have the little visor, the visor thing. And you have the, the two lights. I'll point the flag to which one you need to use. That I'm pointing now to the flag. Right, that thing, that line. Not this one, but that one. So on the flag, up we go. And now this spike. Where I'm pointing now with the crosshair, the top of the crosshair, that spike, the, all the way to the right. That one's important. So there we go, upwards. And top of the visor, top of the left visor spike thing to the right side, the rightest spike. So this one, top of that. So up we go, top of that one. Fire. Now you will see. It's not going to be perfect. But there we go. That's close enough. If we really want it on the stand. Up again. Zoom out. Flag. Up. Spike. And you can go a little bit around that spike. Shoot a little bit. And then you can spread it around a little bit. Voila, carpet bombs. Right, so now this time we're on the other side. We have the diamond sword base is now our target. We have this tower here. So for Blood Eagle, this is now the right hill here. Very easy, like, easily accessible. So going through here. And a little bit more exposed, I will admit, to the other one. But they can't all be identical. Against this one. Center yourself. There we are. Okay, so here we have it. Now this one's a lot easier to do. It is ex more exposed, but a lot easier so far. Now there's a million other possibilities to do this with. It's just the, the ones I... Uh, well, found out about. So I zoom out. Now what we want to do is the... The, the lower part of the visor, so not the lines we just used, but the black part, right? That now obscures the flag there, you see? Going up and down at that bit. You want the sensor to be just about blocked out. So zoom out, sensor, radar sensor there, voila, in the middle of it. Because the flag indicator isn't exactly right, but you can do it like this. Then you can adjust yourself a little bit depending on where it lands so there it goes there's a little bit to the side there of course but it was to point out the reference so a little bit to the left we might even use this spike like that voila pow pow yeah, it's going to fall a bit short why because i forgot to zoom out See, it's when you're lining these things up, it's really important that you zoom out because then you'll look silly, like I just did a little bit too. Late. The adjustments you do need to be minute, so only a couple of pixels because it makes a big difference over that. So there we go, and get nicely. And if you want to hit a dead pan, voila. I think that's going to be enough. Maybe even on the spike, that's going to probably miss. That last one's going to probably miss. But that was, yeah, that was beautiful. That one's to the side of that. See? Voila. So for the full barrage, zoom out. There we go. You do it. You, 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 for instance. And you can keep doing this until the sniper gets wind of you. 
Beautiful. You can even, if you really want to experiment, you can probably hit the sensor with it because you still have a lot of range because you're really close to the base. But um, that's something I haven't really worked out yet. I don't think that's going to hit. Well, almost. So, it's possible. Also, that's a friendly sensor that didn't take any damage. Anyway, hopefully make some more of these. Bye-bye.